नमस्कार दोस्तों आई होप यू आर फाइंड देयर एंड वेलकम टू बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रैप सो इन इन टुडे टेकोपीडिया सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्वार्टर वेव सिमेट्री ना व्हाट इज दिस क्वार्टर वेव सिमेट्री एक्चुअली इट इज यूज्ड इन पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टू कैलकुलेट द हार्मोनिक कंटेंट स्पेशली यू कैन से द पार्टिकुलर हार्मोनिक एम्पलीट्यूड यू कैन कैलकुलेट यूजिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ओके नाउ हाउ टू चेक वेदर द वेव हैज द क्वार्टर वेव सिमेट्री और नॉट If any wave is any signal is odd or even, and it has odd half wave symmetry, then odd plus odd half wave symmetry will will form quarter wave symmetry. Similarly, even plus odd half wave symmetry will make quarter wave symmetry. Now, what is the advantage of quarter wave symmetry? The advantage of quarter wave symmetry is let's say let, let's look at this signal. You can see that this signal is odd, and it has odd half wave symmetry. So odd plus odd half wave symmetry will make quarter wave symmetry. It means this signal has quarter wave symmetry. Now, what is the advantage of quarter wave symmetry? Let's say you want to calculate because it's odd signal, so it contains sine terms. Let's say you want to contain, uh, you want to calculate amplitude of third harmonic sine term. Third harmonic sine term. Okay, you want to calculate amplitude of third harmonic sine term. Now, to calculate third harmonic sine term, first you have to calculate B n. and the formula for bn is integration from 0 to 2 pi and here you have because the period is 2 pi so under one period you have to integrate okay and 2 divided by 2 pi sin of ft into sin of n omega naught t d omega naught t this is the formula in radian i have written okay so if you are integrating this formula from 0 to 2 pi to calculate this bn it will be very lengthy it will be very lengthy to because you have to break this integration uh, uh, from 0 to pi by 3 and then from from pi by 3 to this this point and then this point to pi and then this point to this point this point to this point so there are so many i mean you have to break it there are so many parts to uh, to solve this integration now what you can do is we know that the signal contain quarter wave symmetry so you can take one quarter only you can take one quarter only And in that quarter, you can apply this formula. Let's say you want to calculate B3. So B3 will be equal to. Now, what I what I am doing is I am putting n equal to three. So it will be integration f t into sine of three omega naught t d omega naught t. And what I am doing is I am integrating only under one quarter. One quarter means pi by two radian. Okay. And here it should be four by pi. Here it should be four by pi. Okay. So you have to remember this method, guys. You have to remember. So this is the standard way you can write. This is my uh, expression for B L, and this is the expression for A L. If the signal is uh, even signal, then to calculate any harmonic amplitude, let's say you want to calculate first harmonic amplitude, then you can put n equal to one, and here also you can put n equal to one, and you can integrate this under one quarter. Now, what is the advantage of this? If you are solving under one quarter, only thing is you have to break this integration only in two parts, this part and this part. So there is a time saving in this calculation. Now this quarter wave symmetry will help you in analyzing the harmonic content of the waves, in especially in power electronics. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you enjoyed this trick. So this is a quarter wave symmetry trick that we are going to use in power electronics to calculate specific harmonic amplitude. Okay, now the question is: Please comment in the comment section. What is the amplitude of fifth harmonic in this way? Use this quarter wave symmetry and put n equal to five here and calculate the amplitude of fifth harmonic in this way. And put a naught equal to ten. Take a naught equal to ten. Okay, and calculate the amplitude of fifth harmonic and comment in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this trick. See you in the next video. Thank you and take care.